Hey, it's Rhett Nelson with EastIdahoNews.com. I'm at Bacon and Blue at 688 North Holmes Avenue in Idaho Falls today for another East Idaho Eats. Okay, so I'm here with Devin Kerbs today. He is one of the co-owners at Bacon and Blue. Devin, first of all, we're surrounded by all this great food, but before we talk about the food, talk about the name. What's the story behind how it came to be called Bacon oh, and Blue? Oh boy, um, it's actually a long story, but uh, the short version of this is uh, we wanted something that kind of brought together our idea for the restaurant. Um, the bacon in big blocky letters means that we're down home, just home cooking kind of stuff. And the blue spelled EU uh, would give us a little bit more of a, a high end feel. So what we wanted to do was something like uh, our tangled onions that are dainty and light, but they're just onion rings really. Mm -hmm. And our stuffed burgers that uh, you know you can make in your backyard barbecue if you'd like. Um, but uh, we bring them up a little with, uh, with our specialty sauces and uh, stuffing them with some of the best ingredients we can get. Uh, so it, it, uh, it just kind of brought this place together, um, we feel, so that we can offer you the best of both of those worlds. Nice. Now you have a, a menu item called Bacon and Blue, don't you? We do. We have a few menu items, Bacon and Blue. In fact, one of them that we've, we've brought out here to you today is our Bacon and Blue Steak and Cheese Sandwich. That's this one right here. That's this one here. In fact, yes, as you're talking about it, I'll go ahead and give it a try. Sounds good. Um, so this is... Uh, uh, we have all of our beef uh, brought in from Grand Peaks Prime Meats right here in town. They cut our steak for us to order as well as, as grind our beef patties. But this steak and cheese sandwich is uh, on a hoagie roll with uh, tender steak bites. It's got uh, the traditional onions and peppers in it. It is covered with uh, Swiss cheese and we also put a generous amount of crumbled bacon um, and blue cheese crumbles on top of it. Uh, if you're a blue cheese fan at all, uh, this one's a winner. It's really good. I can I can taste the blue cheese yeah. right away, and there's a good seasoning on that meat. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we do our own house seasoning. Everything we do here is in house, so uh, you'll find that kind of as a theme through all of our our dishes. Very cool. I'm looking at the pasta here. It's right by me. Yeah. What's the name of this pasta dish? Uh, this is just our uh, uh, grilled chicken and penne alfredo. The alfredo sauce is made right here in house as well. All fresh ingredients. We grill the chicken to order. Um, and uh, this used to be one of our, our very favorite menu items when we had our restaurant in Shelly about a decade ago. Uh, until last week, we did not have this on the menu, uh, but by popular demand, we've, we've brought it back. Yeah, yes. that's way good. Thank you. Brand new menu item right there. Mm -hmm. Let's move on to, this is your, you were telling me off camera, this is, has a little bit of a, it's a Southwest style? S Southwest style, yes yeah, sir. Um, okay. I spent a lot of years in Arizona, Southern Arizona. Uh, a lot of my roots come from there. So uh, we have a whole string of Southwest items, including a Southwest salad, a Southwest steak and cheese. And then this is one of our most popular items. It's a stuffed Southwest burger. This is a two thirds pound burger stuffed with Tillamook pepper jack it's cheese. Got, got cheese right in the middle. Right in the middle, along with uh, some uh, diced jalapenos. And then we top it with our, our house uh, Southwest sauce. Mm. Your wife was telling me before we started, this is pretty spicy, but that's actually not too bad. You know, it's not too bad at all. We use pickle jalapenos and it keeps the spice level down just a little bit, um, but it is definitely a fan favorite. Topped with bacon as well, actually. Yeah. Can't have anything in here without bacon, to be honest with you. Yeah, man, that's great. And then the fries are homemade? Fries are all fresh cut. We uh, locally source the fries. We cut them and cook them right here in house and cook them to order. Never put anything under a heat lamp, it goes right from the fryer to your plate. Okay. So these are our tangled onions. Um, these are a thin sliced onion that we dredge in our own seasoned flour and deep fry to order. Uh, you can get this as an appetizer with our kicked up fry sauce um, that is also made here in house. Uh, or you can get it as a side for any of your burgers. Um, these also come on one of our most popular burgers, our barbecue burger, which has cheddar cheese, barbecue sauce, and a, just a giant pile of these onions on top. You know, I go to other places that have onion rings, and it's always so thick. Yes. Batter, and I love how these are thin. Yeah, yeah. That, I mean, that's that, just my personal preference. That was our thing. In fact, one of the items that we really loved from our last menu was this. And it was an off-the-menu item. People would just come in and, and beg for it. And, and it wasn't on the menu, and it was kind of a pain to do. Uh, so we really wanted to bring this in and have it on our menu. Um, but uh, this, is, this is one of those things that kind of gave us the idea for, for the restaurant. This is an onion ring, but they're light, they're crispy, they're easy to eat, and you can pretty much put them on any of our burgers or sandwiches and, and make it that much better. Okay. So these are just four 
of the menu items that you can find at Bacon and Blue. You guys are at 688 Holmes Avenue. Correct. In Idaho Falls. What are your hours? Uh, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Thursday and 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday. Okay, great. Be sure and check out the article below this video for some more information. I'm Rhett Nelson. Thanks for watching.